Okay, very quickly, I'm recording a second video for the next part of the work here for, the, um, for those who are ready to continue. Yesterday, I sent a video that was on uh, what's called speed triangle. Basically, the speed triangle was the summary of this idea of uh, finding the speed of an object, and speed is distance divided by time. I do suggest, however, that if you haven't finished this worksheet, that first of all you review my video that explains how this triangle works and look at the examples. Look on Simon the answers to that worksheet before you progress to this next work on travel graphs. The teacher will hand of this travel graphs once you've watched this video. Basically explain travel graphs, these graphs describe a moving object where time is always the horizontal number line and distance will be the vertical number line in this case here. These graphs allow us to be able to uh, explain a number of things. We can be able to tell from a graph how far a person or an object has travelled and the time taken as it travels in that journey. Now, to give an example, we can use this as a picture to find, for example, the average speed taken by Ed as he drives home to London. This shows me clearly, from beginning to end, that he's travelled a total distance of 80 miles. It's taken a period of time of four hours. And I can read off this timeline here. So, as an example, the work yesterday was a speed triangle. If I needed to find the average speed, using the uh, triangle here, Speed is distance divided by time. Distance divided by time, the 80 miles in four hours, an average speed of 20 miles per hour. This gives you just one example of how um, the worksheet that you're asked to do today here is a way of how we know, knowing how to use what's called a travel graph. To give you an example of other questions on this handout, other parts of the worksheet will require you to complete the picture. If I just show you very briefly with the next question here, with Ellie when she's riding a bicycle, there are parts that ask you to simply state what time she left home, so five minutes past nine. Other parts such as how far she travelled whilst visiting a friend. In this case here, that we found by using the distance part of this number line here, which would be eight kilometres. Now, to give an example of um, average speed, there's another part that asks you to complete the distance time graph. When you read down here, it says that she arrives home at 9.55. That would require you to draw a line from when she leaves her friend's place here to when she arrives at home. Hence, the graph would look like this. Now, I'm trying to draw a straight line, not as straight as I'd like it to be, but I draw it as a straight line, assuming she'll be travelling at the same constant speed until she gets home. My question would be, how do you find the average speed in this particular problem? So again, to find speed using the triangle, which is distance divided by time, I look at my graph here and it shows clearly that she travels a total of 8 kilometres to a friend's place and then travels 8 kilometres back. So that's a total distance of 16 kilometres. I would then need to be able to work out from my graph here how long it's taken from when she left home to a friend's place when she stayed for a period of time before she returned home again. In this case here, 50 minutes. So it's 50 out of the 60 minutes. So 16 divided by over here. And that will give me my average speed in kilometers per hour. Notice the reason for the 60 is that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So I don't go 16 divided by 50 um, to get the kilometers per hour as my average speed. Look, this is just um, a couple of examples to explain to you. So try the questions, check on Simon, the answers are there uh, for you to refer to. And again, I want this handed up to the teacher that you have tomorrow so I can check to see your progress with either the work that you started yesterday on the speed triangle or this worksheet on what's called travel graphs. If you have any questions, uh, I'll endeavour to answer them when I get back to you guys uh, for the first lesson next week. Thanks, guys.